Alright, hi, I'm Paul from The Outdoor Adventure. A couple months ago I received a challenge from a survival group saying that said that you cannot start a fire using water the way we've seen it done on television. They said it's just trick photography and it won't work. Well, I've been trying it and yesterday I, I had my first success and I did it using a method involving plastic wrap and, and just water. Now, what we're going to do is you want to make a kind of like a, a droplet of water which is going to act like a lens and we're going to use that to focus the light through just like you would a magnifying glass. Now you can do that, water reflects and refracts and reflects uh, um, light and if you can channel that light by the shape of the um, of the plastic it will focus it into a beam. That's your hardest point. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to head over to the sink. I'm going to show you how I fill up the plastic and how we um, get that to work. So it's typical standard plastic wrap for food is what we're going to be using. This is 12 inches. Um, if you've got wider obviously it's going to be easier but let's, let's go over to the sink and get this. Alright so I've got my plastic wrap here and I'm going to be turning on the tap in a minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gathering the edges in just so that um, I can create a container that's going to hold the water in. Alright? Get that gathered in there, most of the side. Now I'm going to get the water flowing until it fills up. You can see my son's participating. Now the biggest thing is to watch out so you don't get water in here. I, I'm sorry, air in there. As soon as you get air inside this, it's going to um, get in the way of the, the reflecting light. So get this. It's, uh, full as possible, overflowing, and then if you overflow it, of course you're going to be able to uh, change it. So if it's overflowing, you're going to be able to keep the uh, bubbles out. So I've done that, now it's got a twist. That's the key to this, got a bit of air, uh, air in there unfortunately, is to twist it. Now, you got to be careful not to twist it too much, or else it'll start to get holes in it. Um, but there you have it, there's your uh, your bubble that we're going to use. Now we're going to take this outside, and dry off my hands a bit, and we're going to use this to try to, uh, to focus the light and uh, get ourselves a flame. Alright, so I already had a bag explode on me. Let's try this again. Make sure we got a good angle on this. Alright, so here we are. The biggest problem is the angle. You have to get so close to this for it to work. I've got to do this in paper. What I want to show first is that it's possible to focus that light onto a spot. Can you see that spot there focused? See that? The darker it is, the less light it reflects and so the more it's going to burn. It's a bit windy. There is it. We're burning. 
you do that? So I just all you have to do is focus that light to a point. that light and make a fire. 